All right, I said I wasn't going to do this. I might not ever release these. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to start my career over. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, play a little bit. Since I had it hooked up, might as well, rather than take it back to the living room and uh, hook it up to the TV. We'll give this a go. Hopefully the sound is okay for this first one. I've uh, adjusted it way down, but uh, might have to adjust a little bit later on as well. Um, just because it's a lot different than what we are normally doing with the computer. So, um, yeah, so we are just starting from completely over, and we are going with 305s. Everyone else has been doing street stocks, weirdly. Um, yeah, we're going to start with the sprint cars. And uh, we got to paint up our first sprint. It's going to be pretty basic. And, uh, yeah, let's, well, need to, how do I, it's weird, it doesn't allow you to change the settings for the first race. Am I? Not seeing the options. Yeah, it looks like we only have the options to edit our paint job. So the first race is going to be short. After that, we'll be able to update it to a better length. Um, so what we're going to do is very basic white. Copy that all over. But, you know what, let's, now we're gonna, let's go fuel cell, black, front wing, black, and I hate that they call this rear wing, or back wing, let's call it the top wing. All right. That is what we're going to start off with. Um, we need to change our numbers now. We're going to go with K5. I wish I could adjust where the K is, um, but that is not a possibility at the moment. What font are we going to go with? Go with this. Uh, we're going to go done on there, and okay, we'll fill with white outline, a little darker red. Then for the position of this car number. Go there and switch it around side. Get our tank um, moved to a better position so far forward. Down. Okay. Oh yeah, we got one more thing that we got to take care of. Almost got okay. Got to have a red roll cage and black for the tires. Okay. Beautiful. That is our three hundred five. And I guess we just go into this first event, only 15 laps. And, uh, I mean, that's decent. But 
Kokomo not that much. Although I haven't been able to set the AI difficulty either, so don't know why the settings aren't available that first race. It's a little weird. So still racing controller, still racing with the uh, aids on to make it better for the controller. That means we're not going to mess with setup, which is fine. We're just going to have some fun. And uh, let's see what the audio is like. Yeah, let's turn that down a bit more. Quiet. Yeah, I think that's good. When we hit the tire, I'm looking at the audio right now, just making sure. Alright, on the right camera. Let's go get our lap in. So yeah, I really hope they put a custom roster, like ability to customize the rosters for each series. Because I think this would be really good to put your viewers in as drivers in the series. Good, a 12-1. 16th, all right. We don't have the, you know, good car like we had in the uh, preview. So after this, we'll be able to set it how we want. And... Uh, Top five advance, so right now we're in a transfer spot. We got five laps. But we're going to be getting our butts kicked in the next few events once we're able to actually up the difficulty. on the outside, and we're going to do a green-white checkered here. I thought he was coming up in our lane. That's going to slow us down. Might lose his spot. last year and probably going to finish dead last year. Unless some weird stuff happens. Big push there.
So yeah, definitely the people on wheels that are running on the advanced controls, uh, they're doing a lot more counter steering. I've seen a whoa, Jeff goes for a ride. Um, I've seen a lot more counter steering. I wouldn't take what you're seeing from me as how the physics are. I know my brother says that a wheel feels really awesome because you can kind of feel the car getting tied up high on uh, the force feedback when you're on the cushion. He says it feels better than iRacing. Oh, another one sent, and I hit the brakes, and of course, the damage model sucks, but so does the damage model on iRacing. So, that was kind of expected. You know, those two guys should be out of the race, and here they are passing me. No damage at all, and we're going to get checked up here. flipping and we get beat another one that flipped so we'll be starting seventh in the main for the 15 lap race i think it's actually carrying over my settings from the previous career we just can't edit them right now so everything's about right i just need to up the difficulty so it might be a while a while before we uh get back into an A main. I do know we need to stay away from other people's tires or we'll go flipping. We're just gonna work to the bottom and hope to get a good finish here. Slid up there, lost a ton of momentum. Can't get back down to the bottom now. Feel like we're getting hounded. I can hear them. Don't know where they're at. Maybe just look into the inside. Here I'm in my left ear. Um, um, 
I feel like bad things are about to happen. Okay. That's the first time I've seen that bug. Well, that puts us in fifth. Coming to the white flag. They're all getting stacked up on the high side. Are we going to be able to get the run? there and I didn't realize it. That got us all jacked up. Got on the brakes to stay off the tire and we're going to get six. Alright, well that's the last time we're going to see the top 20 in a while. We'll go get all those settings changed. Enjoy our money that we got from this. And uh, yeah, now we got to build this car up so that it can compete once we get these settings right. But I'll take $3,000 to help it out. Not too bad though, 16 minutes there for a race. I might just, I don't, I don't know. I might just race and race and race and just make these longer videos. Here we go, now we got career options. Difficulty, no, that's not what we want. We want, we're gonna take this down a bit. AI difficulty. Hmm. 85 provides the easiest racing while 105 provides, <laughs> what, what are these numbers? Why wouldn't you just like, why not just go zero to 10 or like, what is, is it only go down to 85? All right, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that, that's weird. Damage, full damage, okay. I thought I had that at full damage. I don't know why it's on light damage. Race length, we're gonna go 80% down here. Um, that should give us eight lap heat races, which is more realistic. Uh, driving, I'm keeping that on normal for this. Skill range, I like all of this. Um, we... Yeah. I think... Let's go normal, I assume. I think everything is how I want it, so... Let's, uh, go repair the car. $33. Very cheap. Next one is at Grant Park. It's a decent track. Um, do we want to upgrade? Let's go ahead, since we got money, try to help ourselves out a tiny bit here. That takes us down to 2,800. We might be able to to most of these. Wish there was just a buy all option as well. Like just, I want all of these upgrades, buy them all. All right, so we're going to be starting out a little better than we should have just because we had the difficulty on what I was initially testing the game on. That's fine. We're going to assume that we got a little bit of money. So now we're back down to 522, but we've got an okay um, setup now. So let's... Uh... Head on to Grant Park Speedway. Three eighths mile, the perfect size for a dirt track. Twenty lap A main, and uh, should have eight lap heat races. I think we'll just stick with the sprint cars, and then maybe I don't know. We might jump around later. 
I don't know. I don't know where the series is going to go because this isn't even supposed to be happening. But here we are. So, oh boy, we just came out in front of the field. Yeah, this is kind of, uh, yeah, what's that track up in? I think it's up in Minnesota, isn't it? This kind of feels like what that track is. Alright. We're good enough on practice times. I've done these races once before, so... Now it's just, uh... 14.7 will get us 35th. Try to get a run to the line. Let's see if that works in this game. A little too sideways there. Oh yeah, we're so quick. You know what? 29th. That's good. That's a good, good position. We're almost in the main. We'll probably have to go through the B main unless some weird stuff happens in the heat race. I feel that's a good balance.
way too low. That's what the guy in the corner is telling me with his hands. We'll just assume that's what the uh, track map is. The guy with the glow sticks down low telling us uh, what line everyone's running. Or at least the people right behind us. wider track, so no caution, it looks like, for any contact, plus we turn down a bit of the wheel-to-wheel. -wheel. We get a win, but it's in the loser race. Who is coming with us? Carter, Robinson, Jackson, Armstrong. Okay, starting 21st, got ourselves 20 laps, and a lot of cars on track, so should be fun. High side gets stacked up a bit. A little tight. I said getting that run though off the corner. Maybe with full damage things will be a little different. I don't know why it was on less damage. I swear I had that on full damage, but Alright, so we're starting to drop back now. Guys are starting to get things going and not stacked up. They nearly come together though. Almost got into Brooks. We got Richardson in the pink 25. Trying to remember people, just make it a little more uh, interactive, I guess knowing the names of the people rather than just uh, random cars that were passing like in Gran Turismo and other things. Oh, we got one jumping a tire. He's in the wall and that is a caution. We're in 16, but we're starting on the outside now. Slipped 
up off the bottom. That's gonna kill our exit there. Again, just missed the bottom line. That is gonna allow Thompson to get a run on the outside and around us. Now we're in 15th. We've had five extra laps added due to the cautions, the way it works, rather than not counting them. Oh, something happened. Yeah. I think uh, Brooks, is it, got loose there, and then they piled in, so we are in 13th now. Whoa, a little right rear fed. Uh, well, well, okay, caution. That's not how I wanted it to go. Um, that might have damaged things. Probably not. It's not like we're getting dead last in the B main every race, because, you know, that's not fun. Then it's just all about time on building up money. I will take this. Uh, season standings, that keeps us in ninth place after our easy first race. But we'll be dropping as this goes. And the winner is Ramirez. Uh... So, Ramirez is now in fourth. Arnold, the winner of Kokomo, is still in the points lead because they got fifth. So, Ramirez must have not had a good Kokomo. 2,500. 600. Not a bad couple of races there. Um... I think it'll be a while before we win, but not too long, and amazingly, we don't really damage anything. Ah, that's annoying. I know it's tough in these and first can't few skip events. Them. I remember when I was just starting out at my local track many years ago. But you're doing great. Just keep focusing on doing your best, and try to get into as many features as you can. The sponsors out here like to see consistency. If you do that, your fan base will start to build and you'll be heading out to regional events in no time. Just remember to sink as much money back into your car as possible. It will help you stay competitive. Good luck out there. All right. Off to Fairbury. This is a 60 car race. Uh, so... This one, we may not make the main. Uh, we're going to go over here, repair all. We've got 23,110. I don't think we're going to do anything with that. Um, the upgrades, yeah, the next upgrade is $2,000. And then to get upgrades within that is about... 2,000 more dollars, so money-wise, it's good that we got the upgrade, the first level, tier level, filled out. Tier level 2 is going to take a little bit longer. Um, Yeah, I think that's it for the first episode, and uh, yeah, we'll see if this even gets released, and 
if I continue to do it. But we'll see. Just saw no one else was doing sprint cars that I know. So I figured, all right, let's do this and I'll play the game and uh, try it out. See, see what it does. See if it brings more people in that don't want to watch iRacing. Although, you know, maybe they'll start watching iRacing. So we'll see. But hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll head off to Fairbury for a 32-lap A main uh, with 60 different cars trying to get into it. Thanks for watching.